Aloha. Welcome. Thank you for coming <clears throat> to today's live stream. My name is Master Paul Fletcher, and I'm honored to be a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Ji Gong Sha. Today is Friday, and it is the ninth day of December 2016. This whole week has been uh, dedicated to self-healing in many different ways. Healing to bring about balance in our emotional life. Healing to bring about love for our self. <clears throat> healing to bring greater understanding of the nature of soul. And all of the healing and all of the wisdom has come forth to humanity at this time through the wisdom and the teachings of Dr. and Master Shah. So for anyone new that is watching this and considering watching the entirety of this um, blessing, which is today, any of the times I go live stream, I can tell you if you listen to your soul, your soul will be jumping up and down because your soul knows what will best serve its soul journey. Your soul knows how to bring healing to you. And it is your soul, in fact, that brought you to stopping and watching this video at this time. So my encouragement is you become more aware of the wisdom, the teachings, the blessings that are possible <clears throat> through soul healing and through the wisdom and teachings of Dr. and Master Shah. So start to welcome uh, many of the souls who have come in. Welcome Mary and CJ. Welcome Ilona. Welcome Ari and Kristen. Welcome Lisa. Jota coming in from Australia. Welcome Jota. Welcome Cheryl Spencer. And Stephanie. <clears throat> and Cheryl says, I just popped onto her screen, so I guess you're supposed to watch. You might be very pleased as to the results you're going to receive today, Cheryl. We're going to be doing a special healing blessing today. And um, <clears throat> it's going to be something very powerful. I'm hoping that there will be a lot of new participants because many people are not familiar with what is soul healing. I will be giving a, some definition and explanation to that before offering the blessing. Um, today's blessing, I'm going to request everybody to ask for something that's physical, where they have a, a measurable uh, blockage in their life. And the only exception to that might be if you have a significant emotional blockage going on where you are just off the charts in one specific emotional direction and you'd like some balance there, then you can request that because, of course, that will be measurable. And the reason I'm going to make that request today when I offer the blessing is because I want everyone to have something that they can measure before and after. And I want them to be able to share their experiences. If there's no result, I want them to share there's no result. If their pain went from a 10 to a 0, I'd like them to share that also. The purpose of today is to promote soul healing and, of course, my soul healing service. I'm not afraid to say that because I am honored to be a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Shah. And as a worldwide representative, I have received incredible healing abilities. And healing abilities took me years to grasp the, the, the significance and the power of them. And um, so if people are not, um, not open-minded enough to recognize the, the value of soul healing, then eventually the seed will grow and eventually they will be ready. But today, for those that wait, they will have some huge blessings. Welcome, Tawana. Welcome, Esther. Welcome, Dana. <clears throat> and um, if everybody wouldn't mind, please hitting the share button. It's Friday, and for certain parts of the world, it's a drinking hour, eating hour. Um, other places in the world, they're just waking up. So it just depends on where you're at. Uh, so please hit the share button. If you're in groups, please share it to your groups. And this will allow other people to become aware of what is soul healing. We're going to start by using what's called a divine soul song. And this is a soul song that was brought to humanity in 2003. And um, it carries an extraordinarily high healing frequency. And we always use it to collect our hearts and souls together into oneness and bring about the setting of the energetic stage for the highest healing and blessings that can occur today. 
So we have a hand mudra, it's called the soul light arrow hand position. <clears throat> and we drop the left hand in front of the heart center, the right hand remains pointed towards the heavenly realms. And this connects heaven into our heart center. Close your eyes. For those that are new, prepare to receive some blessings with this soul song. For those that know the soul song, I invite you to join with me. We're first going to invite in all the holy beings. Dear beloved divine, dear the Tao, dear the source, all layers of all committees in heaven up to original creator, we love you, honor you, respect you, and I bow down to you. We ask for your presence here today to come to sit in each of our heart centers to bless us each for the request of our choice as we move forward with this uh, healing teaching and wisdom today. Dear the soul of all beings of light, including the stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, including healing angels, archangels, Buddhas, and bodhisattvas, saints, saints, animals, lamas, sifus, gurus, and so many more. We love you and be with us here today and guide this healing, this blessing, and any of the wisdom. I ask my Heavens team, guides, angels, and saints, and my protection teams to please be with me. Please uh, protect me as I offer these blessings today. And we ask the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony to please turn on. We invite all souls and all universes to turn on their Soul Song, Love, Peace, and Harmony, to chant with us, to bring love, peace, and harmony to America, to the European continent, to Australia, to every continent, to every country, to every soul on Mother Earth, to all souls and all universes, let us join hearts and souls together as we chant this soul so source soul song. Again, for those that know it, please join. For those that don't, receive the blessings. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. Wo ai, wo xin, her, ling. Wo ai, trung, ren, lei. Wang, ling, rung, her, mu, shi, shang. Song I ping on a say. Song I ping on her say. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin her ling. Wo ai tren ren lei. Wang li hing rong her mu shi shong. Song ai ping on her Song ai ping on her I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. 
<coughs> how, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. How is a Mandarin Chinese word. It means perfect, complete, uh, just wonderful. And we say thank you three times. The first thank you is to Divine Creator. The second thank you is to all the holy beings who are present and offering blessings, especially when we chant this song. The third thank you is to our own soul. And so uh, this source soul song has been placed in hospital rooms and people who were white and not moving and on death's door are up and sitting and eating and have color 24 hours later. How is that possible? Because of the nature of soul and soul healing. So before I offer the blessings, I'm going to offer a teaching. This is for most of the people that are new or for the people that will be watching this in the future. Or for somebody that you wish to share it with after you receive the blessing and you say, wow, that was amazing, you got to check this out. This explanation will be for them. Okay. Soul healing was brought to humanity by a spiritual teacher and father, my spiritual teacher and father, Dr. Master Shah. Uh, brief teaching on Dr. Master Shah. <clears throat> From the age of four, he was being taught by Kuan Yin Buddha. From the age of five, he started training in Tai Chi with a Tai Chi master who was throwing back his assailants with air. He was using energy to knock people backwards. Imagine a five-year-old watching this happen in front of his eyes at the local park. Of course, he was amazed. So he became a Tai Chi and reached the level of master by the age of 10. He then went to Qigong. He then went to, uh, became a Shaolin monk. And after that, he uh, became a Feng Shui master and an I Ching master, uh, training with the highest and most well-known masters in all of China. Truly the most well-known. <clears throat> he then uh, became a doctor in American medicine while he was in China. And uh, he realized that that wasn't going to solve all the problems. And so although he was growing his spiritual nature and the energy side, he also wanted to help people. And so he got a degree in traditional Chinese medicine. Both of those reached a point where they couldn't serve people anymore and people were still dying. Around the same time, he met his spiritual father named Master Guo, who in China was probably one of the most renowned healers in all of China, where well, well over a million people in a course of a year would come to his commissary where he would serve roughly 200 people a day. And he was where people went when nothing else worked. And this master was bringing healing to the incurables. So Dr. Master Shah trained under this master for 13 years. Um, Dr. Master Shah then came to America, actually came to Canada, and um, where he had a thriving acupuncture business. There he did one needle acupuncture and people's slip disc with one needle in the back of the knee, slip disc was fixed literally instantly. Um, he could reverse hearing loss through, through special needle acupuncture. He'd put a three inch needle on the side here and hit the hearing nerve and people's hearing would open up and they've been, uh, if they weren't deaf from birth, then he could reverse those conditions. He would also do the same thing for uh, other major, major, major conditions. So this master would see about 70 people a day as an acupuncturist. And if anybody knows uh, about the nature of that business, <clears throat> an acupuncturist might see 10 to 15 people a day and be exhausted. Um, so to see 70 to 100 is only possible when you're a miracle worker, when you can do one needle next, one needle next. And he was making about a million dollars a year. But he was also communicating with the divine and all layers of the divine from, the, from early childhood. And he was told that he needs to leave this million dollar business and go do soul healing. And he needed to, to leave his family to go do this. So he left his family in Toronto, moved to San Francisco, and in his first year earned $30,000 teaching things related to soul healing. And what he taught was that everyone and everything has a soul. Now, he did not make up this teaching. He was taught by his spiritual teacher and father, Master Guo. And Master Guo was the one that told him that there is God. Now, in China, if you're familiar with the teachings over there, they don't have Christian teachings. They don't necessarily have a belief in that. They believe in, in, in um, oneness and Tao and many other things, but don't believe necessarily in a God. But Master Guo, his sp spiritual father, said, yes, there is. And he's always communicating and sharing with me how to bring healing to people, which is why people come to me for healing miracles. So that wisdom was passed on to Master Shah and Divine spoke with Master Shah through the majority of his life. Eventually, he taught him soul healing. And what was explained to him, which was explained to you now, is that everyone and everything has a soul, not just a human, not just pets. 
everything. That means the rock, the chair you're sitting on, the computer, everything has a soul. And it was further explained to Master Shah through the divine that the reason everything has a soul is because everything is made up of God. Everything has the, the energy, the matter, the essence of the divine in it. Therefore, everything has a soul. Makes sense. But what further occurred was teachings that every soul is on a journey. And as that soul goes through its process of uh, elevating its understanding and its return to the source of the Creator, it remembers, a process of remembering, that it is oneness, it is love. Well, you and I, if we were 100% pure love, we wouldn't be here. We'd be up there with the Creator. And so, every soul is always on the return back home. And along the way, uh, through our incarnations, we make mistakes. And those mistakes might look like hurting people, hurting animals, hurting uh, insects even, uh, physically hurting them, emotionally hurting them, mental suffering. We could even be uh, advanced as a spiritual teacher and offer wrong teachings. That hurts their soul journey and impedes them from finding their way back home sooner, better, faster. So all of these create um, blockages at the level of soul. They are called Shen, Qi, and Jing. These are Mandarin Chinese terms. Shen is soul, heart, and mind. Qi is energy. You've heard of it. Qi Gong, Tai Qi. That's energy. Qi, Qi, Qi. And then Jing. Jing is a Mandarin Chinese word for matter. Matter is blood, physical cells, skin, matter. Okay? So you have Shen, Qi, Jing. Soul, heart, and mind, energy, and matter. These are where the blockages lie in all souls. But they don't originate uh, in the energy and matter. They originate at the level of soul because the soul never begins, never ends. It's always in the circle of the divine. And as we in our incarnations make unpleasant choices, choices that are not in alignment with love, choices that are not in alignment with service, choices that are self-ish versus selfless and others get hurt, then that brings a blockage to our soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter our Shen, Qi, and Jing, that sits at our soul, our physical soul, our, our what you know as your soul, um, is an energy being, and we are a physical representation of that energy being. We are not the soul, we are a physical body uh, having an experience on behalf of the soul. <clears throat> so the soul lives forever, we do not. We, we might live a hundred years and then start again. Live a hundred years, start again. So what is the purpose of life? The purpose is to, uh, to increase our soul standing, to uh, become one with the divine again. And how do we accomplish that? We accomplish that by releasing the spiritual debt that we had incurred in our previous lifetimes. Hence, soul healing came to humanity through Master Guo and now Master Sha. He is the emissary of this message through the entire planet. It is not a religion. It is simply a common sense baseline teaching that can be adopted by any belief system or any thought process anywhere on the planet. And the basic concept is we're a one. And when we do activities, thoughts, words, actions that are not in alignment with that oneness, we're harming a part of ourself or others in this case. And that takes us further away from our source. Therefore, we are here to bring balance back to that imbalance. These imbalances come to us in the physical world in the form of physical pain, emotional pain, uh, mental pain, uh, financial pain, business pain, relationship suffering. You think these are accidental, guys? No, none of these are accidental. These are as a result of choices we in a previous times had made. And so that is the source of our suffering. So the resolving of the source of our suffering is in first A, the awareness, and B, the application of soul and all understanding of soul to it. So one of the base and foundational teachings that Dr. and Master Shah has brought to us is the basic understanding of love and forgiveness. You've heard this before a billion times in any teaching. It doesn't mean it's not true or accurate. The key is when we apply soul power along with love and forgiveness. When we can do those, we can move mountains. Okay? One of the unique features that occurred when a master uh, goes through life, doesn't, this is not Master Shah, any master, guru in India, any true master, they don't get to get that label, that title, whatever, unless they go through a great deal of purification. 
Purification means releasing ego blockages, being selfless instead of selfish. Purification means moving towards oneness. Okay? And so every master uh, goes through these processes before they can be elevated. Who elevates them? God elevates them. What does God do? He gives them power. And then he waits to see what they do with that power. Are they selfless with it or are they selfish with it? Okay? And some people fail. And so they don't get any more power. And in fact, it's often taken away. But true masters are elevated. You never see the elevation. We just work in a little world. We come home. We complain. You know, we eat our food, watch our TV, go to bed. But there are true masters in this world that are here to serve humanity. And they have extraordinary power beyond our comprehension power. The kind of power that can reverse paralysis power. Um, so that is the kind of master Dr. Master Shah has slowly become as a result of his dedicated service to humanity. And each time he is elevated, the first thing he does is he offers blessings. The first thing he does is he gives of that power so that others can be elevated. That is a sign of a master that has the right heart, a heart of selflessness. The best way a master can be identified is his students. Are his students loving? Are they kind? Are they compassionate? Are they selfless? Are they dedicated to serve humanity? Are they taking credit for the healing? If a student is, is like that, then they are, they are either a, not a very good student or the master is not a very good master, one of the two. Uh, so I follow happily, joyfully follow this teacher, Dr. Master Shah, because I see one of the most humble, dedicated beings that's out to serve humanity uh, that I've ever come across. In about eight years ago, he gave, uh, gave me and many souls a healing transmission. Now, this was in 2008. I had my arms crossed. I was watching this guy from a distance, seeing if he was real. I was watching him do what you might label as healing miracles and just kind of going, hmm, how is this stuff working? I didn't really understand it. And so I went through a process of going through understanding uh, the things that I'm sharing with you now. I had to go through the learning process and the validation process. <clears throat> and by the end of that, it was, a, it was a, about a seven or eight day uh, event. Um, near about the fourth or fifth day, he said, I need to create healers on Mother Earth. Uh, Blood Divine has given me the authority to transmit power to people so they can become a healer. Now... I had since this time, I had avoided all forms of energy healing. Energy healing is awesome. I have no complaints against it. Me personally, I wasn't interested in it unless it had no restrictions. If I could use it to heal finances, I'm more interested. If I can use it to heal somebody 2,000 miles away, I'm a lot more interested. If I can use it to transform a relationship, sign me up. The energy healings that I'd come across had some limitations in that respect. Um, and so what, what I was witnessing with him was that soul healing had zero limitations. It was transforming any blockage, regardless of what the blockage was. And that piqued my interest dramatically. I'd been on a soul journey for 20 years. So when I came across this wisdom, this teaching, <clears throat> it made a lot of sense to me because I'd already had a 20 so or so year foundation with which to bounce the information off of. I knew a, a real master when I saw one. And so... I, I'm then to my, if I can do a fraction of what this master is doing as far as healing, I'm in. And so that was when he transmitted my first healing transmission. It was called a soul healer teacher transmission. And I felt nothing. Now, I, I had completed a four-year uh, seminary in Korea where I, you know, I studied with masters over there and I opened up my energy systems and I could feel energy. He gave me a transmission. I thought nothing. There was about 500 people in the room. I think maybe 100 of us received this transmission. He did it from the stage. Transmission! I said, okay. Well, I guess it worked. I don't know. I'm going to have to go home and check it out. <clears throat> they gave us a piece of paper to read. It had something to do with forgiveness practice and asking this healing treasure to offer the transmission and for us to keep our mind in our lower part of our body and our energy centers to take no credit, to just put our hand up and let the energy do its work, right? So I didn't know what I was doing. I just came home and started practicing on any guinea pig I could find. And lo and behold, it worked. Not only did it work, it worked the kind of miracles that I saw him doing, which really piqued my interest and started making me research what is soul healing? Long story short, today, as of about a year ago, 
I was elevated to the status of becoming what's called a divine vehicle servant and channel and worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Shah. This is one of the highest levels of healers that is throughout his system. And to be given this status, this label of master, it's just a label. It doesn't mean you're anybody. And basically what it means is you, you need to have less ego, more service, and, and, and purify more. That's what it means. <clears throat> so it gives me the opportunity to be a better servant. And with it comes higher and higher frequencies to bring healing. And so when we transform the Shen, Qi, and Jing, it's a bit opposite of what we're familiar with. So Jing is matter. Qi is energy. We spoke about this earlier. Shen, soul, heart, and mind. So follow me on this. Jing is what the medical world, uh, the, the Western medical world, and most of the people in the world deal with when they're dealing with matter. They adjust the matter through, chemical imbalance, uh, through chemicals and pharmaceuticals. So if somebody has an ailment, they give them uh, a pharmaceutical chemicals which adjusts the matter. Um, they might cut it out if necessary. That adjusts the matter. Uh, and so the, the Western world approaches matter adjustment a little differently. Um, the Eastern philosophies were adjusting the energy. They felt that everything was energetic blockages. And you've heard of acupuncture and, and these Tai Chi, Qigong, these kinds of modalities. Even today, they cannot see an energy meridian. They cannot see why it works, but they do know that it works. Well, we can't see with their physical eye, but with the third spiritual eye, which this uh, healing modality of working with energy has been around for over 5,000 years, um, uh, those with their spiritual third eye open could see energy meridians in the human body. And that's how they got mapped out originally. And they figured out where the points hit the surface of the skin through their third eye. And that's where acupuncture and that whole structure came from. And the purpose of the herbs and the special types of massages uh, the, uh, and the special types of needles and, and all things um, Eastern based are to move the energy. When energy flows, blood follows, and therefore healing will follow. And so Jing has served the Western world, and Qi has served the Eastern world. But they both run into limitations that you just can't seem to get past in about 20 or more percent of the ailments that are, that are affecting humanity. And that's where soul, heart, mind comes in. Soul, heart, mind, in that order, represent Shen. Now, you have heard of mind over matter. Everybody who's watching this has definitely heard of mind over matter and have probably had some excellent results. But mind is below heart and heart is below soul. So your mind can affect the chi and your mind can affect the matter and that's why it works. But soul is above the mind. Common sense if you think about it, right? So your soul carries forth all the lifetimes of blockages and in all these lifetimes of blockages, karma, if you will, <clears throat> they sit at the soul level. So if you have lung issues, like that's, that's my major issue in this life, is I have lung issues, okay? And so I've cleared out a lot of it, but there's still more to clear. And that means my soul, this golden light being, looks just like me. At the lung level, it has darkness on it. I don't know how much, but there's darkness there. Okay? Wherever your illness is, whatever your blockage is, if it's a financial blockage, a relationship blockage, it's here in the heart center. Okay? And so wherever your blockages are, there's darkness at your soul level. Soul healing works at the level of releasing things at the level of soul. That's why it's significantly different than any form of energy healing, any form of qi healing, any form of jing healing. That's why it's significantly different than mind over matter. Because you're dealing with things at the level of origination. So how do we release a soul of a blockage? Love and forgiveness. Love and forgiveness release all soul blockages. But divine healing, soul healing is divine healing. So why does it work a lot faster than our own forgiveness and our own love? The reason why it works faster is because it carries divine's love and the divine's frequency. How could someone like me offer a blessing and it carries God's love and God's frequency? Who am I? What is, why am I so special? I'm not. I bow my head. I bow my head to God. I bow my head to everybody. To you, I bow my head to you. I am a 
divine channel vehicle and servant serving underneath the tutelage of Dr. Master Shah who bows his head to the divine, the Tao, the source, creator. And he bows his head daily and hourly for the opportunity to receive higher power that he can serve humanity better. A divine vehicle and servant is in essence a channel that runs up to the divine. And they've been given authority to ask God to do the healing on their behalf. So when I offer a blessing, that's what is actually occurring. The divine has divine frequency of divine's love, divine's forgiveness. Our frequency down here about 1 on a 10 scale, God's about 10 on a 10 scale. Whose frequency is going to clear the blockages faster? Common sense, right? So when a soul healing occurs, on the line today there are probably about 15 soul healers, meaning people who have received a divine healing hands, healing transmission that allows them to offer a soul healing blessing in which the divine comes through and offers the blessing. They don't do it. God comes through and offers the blessing. For the average Joe to hear that God comes through and offers the blessing, it might rattle their, 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 their thinking a little bit. They might say, yeah, I'm not sure about that. I get it. It's okay. It took me well over a year of comprehending this before I got it before I could share with, with, with complete confidence. But there is a God, and God really does care for humanity, and God really does bring special people to earth to help. And my spiritual teacher and father is one of the most special, and I'm blessed to be under his tutelage that I can offer this wisdom and this blessings to you today. Now, if you want to do your homework, go check out any of the YouTube videos underneath my teacher's name. You'll find well over a thousand of them, and they're all healing miracles. <clears throat> and they're all validated. So, what you're going to receive very shortly here is what's called a soul healing. Now, I'm going to ask each of you to choose specifically a physical suffering. If you're blessed to be, have no physical suffering, then I'm going to ask you to choose something that's measurable in this moment. In other words, if you have a significant emotional blockage where you're off the charts and that emotional uh, blockage, then you can check that and you can measure it afterwards. The reason I'm asking you to choose one of these two is because I want you to choose something measurable. The only way you can validate efficacy is if you have something that's measurable. Before it was a 6, now it's a 2. Before it was a 10, now it's a 1. That's, uh, that's a validation. That's something that says to your brain, I'm sort of understanding what this man is saying that's, that's talking about soul healing right now. <coughs> I'm waiting for the blockage to clear on the video right now. It's lagging a little bit. Um, but when you have a healing and you go from a 10 to a 2, that changes everything. That forces you to shift your paradigm and to recognize that, there are, uh, that the divine has brought power to humanity. And so the other reason I'm doing this today, I'm going to offer this 20-minute blessing, is to make you aware of the different levels of healing that is available uh, through my services or through any worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Shah. We are literally around the world. There's five centers around the world. There's over 130 divine channels like myself. And we all have the same extraordinary healing abilities. So you can go to any one of them. Okay, They are, they are here to serve you. The reason we ask uh, for money for the service, today is free, is because we have to pay our light bills also. <laughs> okay, hopefully that keeps it simple for you. I want you to be aware of a, a monthly uh, program that I have at my website. Um, you can get two blessings like what you're going to receive today. It'll be virtually the same as what you're going to receive today. Two of them a month and it's only $30. And you can change your mind every time. Uh, today I'm asking you to be specific for something measurable, but should you sign up for that, you can literally change your mind every time. And so you might choose finances two times in a row. Next time you might be having a problem with a spouse, and you might choose a blessing for the relationship. Next time you might have a problem with a coworker, and you can choose a blessing for your relationship with that coworker. Next time you might have a physical pain in the neck because you woke up with a, a stiff neck, and you can request for that. So every time you can change it, all right? So, and you don't have to be present for the blessing. That's one of the beautiful things about soul healing is it's timeless. It works wherever you're at. I just call forth the souls of those who are registered. I offer the blessing 100% of the time you receive it. How do I know? Because I've been on the receiving end when I wasn't present for the blessing and my pain dissolved because I, I honored for it 
and at the appropriate time the blessing came, pain left. So now I'm prepared to offer you a blessing. Uh, Kristen, thank, thank you Kristen, has been placing um, some things on the timeline so you can see some of Dr. and Master Shah's uh, information as well as about my Soul Healing Membership Program. So prepare to receive. Now what the first step is to, um, to identify the area that you want the healing for and identify the level of the blockage suffering. Is it a 1, a 2, a 4, a 5, a 7, an 8, a 10? Okay. <clears throat> so Dana, yes, you can, you can receive a blessing for that uh, as long as it's significant. You want to make sure it's significant, whatever the blessing is, that's, so you can measure it, okay? Um, so find a measurement for it. If it's a physical something or other, and it can be made worse by a movement, moving your arm up, maybe you have restriction in your shoulder and you can only go so high, I want you to measure your physical restriction. I want you to induce a little extra pain in that area by a certain movement so that when you go back to check that area, you can do that again and see what has shifted, okay? So this is your part. Um, Sayan, on uh, your question about addictions, the answer is with this level of blessing, it would be incremental. It would be of great value to have a one-time big blessing like you find on my website. It's called the Healing and Transmission System. And then get incremental ones like on the monthly. That's going to serve you the best. Brianna, the answer is yes. It's gradual. It can help relationships. Um, bigger blessings one time help and then consistency on your own through love and forgiveness helps. Today, um, try to choose something that's measurable, okay? So wherever you're at, sit up straight, bring your back away from the back of the chair. Um, have your feet flat on the ground. Close your eyes. Relax your palms, relax your shoulders. Place your palms one over the other on your lower abdomen. <clears throat> Keep your eyes closed. Bring your thoughts, your breath, your intention into your lower abdomen. Now, when the blessing occurs, if you have a specific pain area, visualize golden light in that area. If it's an unsure area like fear, um, you want to choose your kidneys. Visualize golden light in the kidneys. If it's an emotional blockage, choose the heart center. Okay? Anything that's uh, unknown, choose the heart center. Anything that's not obvious, choose the heart center. Prepare to receive. I'll be turning on my healing transmission. I ask this healing transmission that I've just turned on <clears throat> to offer a healing blessing to all of those souls that watch this video. This blessing is to be offered one time only. If people come back to watch it, it will not work for them the second time. This blessing will be honored to anybody that tunes in after this live stream is over one time. All healing for the requests of each recipient as appropriate. Blessing begins. <laughs> Keep your eyes closed. Visualize the golden light.
Blessings will continue as I play music for you.
Blessing for 10 more minutes. Please repeat after me. Dear all souls, if I or my ancestors have caused any suffering to you by thoughts, by words, and by actions, if we have harmed you physically, emotionally, mentally, on your spiritual journey, if we have created for you financial suffering, relationship suffering, business blockages, if we have caused any form of suffering for you in any time, truly, I sincerely apologize. I deeply regret any harm from my wrong actions. I have learned many lessons in this life and I wish not to harm others again. I sincerely, sincerely apologize and ask for your unconditional forgiveness. I am most grateful to all the souls that have brought harm to me in this lifetime or any time, including relationships, finances, emotions, mental suffering, physical pain, and more. I understand now that you may have offered me 
this reminder that I may have harmed you first and I don't remember it. And in this lifetime, you are helping me to remember. I wish to offer you my unconditional forgiveness. I deeply apologize if I had harmed you first. And if I had not, and you are the one who has harmed me, I wish to release you of any spiritual debt that you may have to me, that we can both move forward on our soul journey in love, peace, and harmony. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Five more minutes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us all bow our heads 
nine times to the divine who delivered this blessing today. Let us bow our heads, if you so feel, to Dr. and Master Shah for delivering this healing transmission that I could serve you. We thank the Divine, the Tao, the Source. We thank all of the holy beings that came today. I thank my healing transmission that offered you this service today. So please share. What was your experience? <clears throat> what did you notice? What was your pain before? What is your pain level now? What was your emotional pain level before you? What is your emotional pain level now? <clears throat> 20 minutes is a long blessing. You can, you can uh, experience miracles in 20 minutes with soul healing because the frequency of the divine, the Tao and the source, the frequency of the divine's love, the divine's forgiveness and compassion, substantially higher than mine. So when I open these channels, when I uh, uh, turn on the healing transmission and the divine's frequency comes through, it's extraordinary. Definitely, definitely some, some major, major things can be released. So please share. Now for those that have come in a little late, this is a blessing that is <coughs> offered uh, through my website. There's different levels. This is the first level. Uh, it is called a Divine Healing Hands Blessing. There is Divine Healing Hands, and with about maybe 10,000 people around the planet has received this healer transmission. But when it is offered through a divine channel, which is the status I have been blessed to receive, thank you, Master Shaw, um, the, the power that comes through is, is 100 times, 100,000 times more potent than uh, one who has not had, uh, reached that level. And so it makes a significant difference um, to receive it. And so through my website, which is listed through this uh, uh, flow of information, Kristen has posted it there a couple times, you can join the monthly membership. You receive two blessings like this in one month, and it's only $30. I mean, I'm basically giving it away um, so that people become more familiar with soul healing. Uh, that's $15 a blessing. 20 minutes, twice, $15 a blessing. And you can ask for anything that you'd like. Um, so if you've noticed, like somebody noticed they had um, a major, major nervousness of a 10 and it's down to a 1, that's significant. That's something where uh, a twice a month blessing could can make a major difference in your world. Uh, Kristen Strachan said she had some pressure, like how a sinus infection feels in her teeth. Um, I think it needs a little more time to work, but seems to feel a little bit better, like from a 5 to a 3 maybe. She did have an interesting vision uh, when I was chanting the American Indian mantra. Julie says, thank you. You're very welcome, Julie. Chrissy says, thank you. You're very welcome, Chrissy. Did either of you notice any differences? Linda, she had a throbbing headache. It was an eight. Now it's a two. Congratulations, Linda. That's a great example <coughs> of a soul healing. Where does the throbbing headache come from? I have no idea. God knows. Goes in there, offers a blessing, higher frequency, blockage is released. Linda, I think, is, I don't know how far away is. She's Ohio or, well, I'm in Hawaii. I'm over 2,000 miles away from everybody. So that's how powerful soul healing is. It crosses boundaries and barriers and time and everything. Matters not. Welcome, Pamela. Rushi says, uh, thank you, Master. Love you. You're welcome. Uh, CJ says, thank you. Melina, she feels lighter. Stephanie, very powerful. She had asked for heart blockages to be removed to feel the divine's love. And she was so in the condition, she nearly fell off her bed three times. Very peaceful. Great. Uh, you're welcome, Brianna. Dana says he felt very warm. He could feel it healing his heart and the condition of fear. You're very welcome, Dana. Congratulations. Julie says, I truly don't know what to ask for, so I just let it be. Okay. Probably came in a little late. Um, so Jennifer says, thank you. You're very welcome. Crystal, hi, Master Paul. I joined in the middle of the blessing. I asked for a balance of her emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual body. She saw an image of a yin-yang sign placed in her heart center. That's so wonderful. You're very welcome. CJ says the heaviness in her heart, but it's now gone. Absolutely wonderful. So you're very welcome, everybody. 
Uh, I have a feeling that the blessing um, will, will manifest quite a bit more as the day goes. One of the things about soul healing is that it is not uh, limited to the moment when it's offered. It continues to work. Uh, through my services, you can move major, major blockages. Uh, divine Healing Hands is the first level. So make sure you pay attention to all the different uh, services that are offered through my website. Soul operations can be very effective. Crown Chakra blessings are really good for removing emotional blockages such as fear like with Dana. Um, the, the Healing and Transmission System is the highest level of blessings. That clears major blockages, significant pain, significant issues. And then uh, there's also a Healing and Transmission System can be for the organ systems and the energy centers. Those are very potent to receive those the healing and transmission system because it removes the karmic blockages, the Shen Qi Jing blockages I spoke about earlier, and puts a light wall protection. And so this is different levels of blessing. This is just the first level you received today. Um, uh, Esther says she had blurry eyes that was an 8 on a 10 scale and it's decreased to a 3. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you. Thank you for sharing, Esther. That's amazing. Uh, Kristen says, thank you, dear Master Paul. Thank you, Divine, for the extraordinary blessings. She had been experiencing plantar fasciitis in her left foot for the most part of a year, which has gotten more severe in the last few months. Today it was at a 10, where she could barely walk on her foot. And the blessings, it's now a 1. It went from a 10 to a 1. Thank you, God. Thank you, Master Shah. We always give credit where it's due. Thank you, God. Thank you, Master Shah. Um, Tammy Hunter says her tendonitis is better in her arm. Wonderful. I love this sharing. So happy. Thank you, God. Thank you, Master Shah. That's real healing. That's power healing. You go for, this is about four or five people that went from very high numbers down to very low numbers in this 20-minute blessing. So know that soul healing is significantly uh, uh, relative to transforming every layer of blockage you might have in your life. It doesn't limit to the physical pain. I ask you to do that as a point of measurement. It applies equally well to relationships. It applies equally well to finances. It applies equally well to any blockage area in your life because every blockage area is rooted in karma. The reason these blockages left on the physical level was the virtue was released to offset the spiritual debt. Therefore, at the soul level, that darkness I spoke of at the soul level washed away. The physical body has to change to reflect the soul. Anybody's in pain, our physical body is reflecting the blockage at level of soul. With soul healing, the blockage is released. Therefore, the physical body changes to reflect that. That is soul healing. You, you've witnessed quite a few uh, physical representative examples of it here today. And it applies the same to any area of our life. So you can receive a one-time blessing. You can also buy what's called a gift certificate. You'll have to contact me for that. I, I haven't been at, it's on my website, but I haven't made it visible where people can see it. So you can contact me through Facebook Messenger. You can call me, uh, email me, asoulhealer at yahoo.com. Just like it sounds, asoulhealer at yahoo.com. Um, or that's my website, asoulhealer.com. And contact me. And you can get a gift certificate. You can just get a blessing for yourself. Um, normally with the blessings I offer a soul reading, uh, which tells you the source of the blockage and the Akashic Record reading as to what the results were after the blessing. How many lifetimes it might have saved you of suffering, etc., etc. And so, um, thank you so much for coming today. This uh, video gave me a good opportunity to explain what is soul healing, the nature of its origin, um, how it came to the planet through the divine, through the masters, and then how I'm able to serve you with it. So it's an excellent way for you to understand the nature of it and how it works. It's an excellent way to um, share with other people that you think might be interested. And an easy way to do that is after this video post, you click on the video, right click on the video itself, and it gives you a little URL. It gives you a little, um, uh, you know, like a, a URL. And you can put it in an email to one of your friends or anybody that you care about and say, hey, watch this. Uh, this blessing will apply one time to anybody that hasn't seen it before. And, but if you go to back and see it again, it won't work again. Sorry, guys. It's too much virtue. It, 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 I, have to, I have to honor for these things. Too much virtue to be giving away. So 
Uh, love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to see you next week, Monday through Friday. I'm here every day, same time, same place. Um, sign up for my newsletter. If you're not there, it's on my website, and you'll learn more about these things. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye, everybody.